Salve Populus. So this evening I am heading to the Union Road Moto Velo late night opening bike night thing. What a glorious evening it is. I mean, look at this. This is what we need. This is what we want. <laughs> Possibly Mediterranean today. I love this bridge. Look how long it is. It's got to be 300 feet. This place gets proper flooded. pronounce this Roo. Well, I'm not going to hit a thousand miles this month because that was just two insane road rides but I am still recording how far I'm doing and uh, I'm up to 50 which isn't too bad obviously it's not what a lot of people do but I just ride my bike for fun why aren't we giving way There was a car there, that's weird. Bizarre. Matrix glitched. cyclists a nice wide berth if I can. There's nothing worse when you're on a bike, as in a cycle bike. 
gonna get some tip whizzing past you within one and a half meters or you know even at one and a half meters it's still not nice I don't have a problem with cyclists I have a problem with cyclists who are dicks but then again I have a problem with motorcyclists who are dicks so you know what does get me though is that the fact that so many motorcyclists think we are so much better than everyone else on the road cages are out to kill us and cyclists are wankers and everything else like that no fuck you we've all seen the videos of people doing wheelies and burnouts and racing crashing riding out in massive great big groups where they intimidate every other right, uh, driver on the road we're no better than anyone we're more vulnerable but we're no better and in fact we're not certainly not as vulnerable as a cyclist girl on the bike's testament to that she had a massive accident on her push bike a life-changing accident she was that tough she didn't realize it until the day after probably adrenaline as well but still bikers by the way I'm not looking at that Skoda in front of me I'm looking at the traffic ahead because if I'm looking at the Skoda in front of me and a car in front of it, it breaks I'll only know when that car breaks as in when the Skoda breaks but if I look as far ahead whee, as I can like that car that has uh, silver car just broke then I can read the traffic and see what's going on now I'm also looking straight across that area over there on the corner to see if there's anything that might cause that traffic to break because I've got a good line of sight you probably think you're widely passing well because it's a dumbass place to pass people might try it I'm also roughly two seconds behind so I've got even more time to react see one Mississippi two Mississippi three Mississippi so three seconds Now I didn't move into one then on this side because there was uh, potholes and a drain. So I sacrificed vision for safety. Just like if a car's coming around this corner now, I'll move into position two. I don't need to, so I stay on three. Now I'm going to drift over to position one. There's a bike behind me that wants to go. He's going to go. See, he hasn't got proper clear sight there. So he shouldn't be doing that, technically. 
he also made those cars slow down which can be classified as driving under care and attention of the I can't remember I mean I don't even know if they're going to the same place I am so he should have yeah here you go see so he drifted over that's better but his mate is holding that position he's too close to that car in front and I know it's because he wants to pop out and uh, overtake going to be able to do is island hop so I'm just going to back off a little bit so now they're hopping again Watch out for surprises in Devon. junction see over the hedges so I was all right there I come over to two hit three come around corner that I know is coming up and a little hill again another little bit of microclimate again you get a lot of microclimates in Devon which is basically a patch of road which is contrary to the weather that you've got usually never to your benefit
hay while the sun shines. That's literally what it means. There is a deceptive corner, I can't quite remember where it is. Uh -huh. Weather. This is the deceptive corner. There's traffic. I can see the traffic coming towards me down there as well. That's how far I'm looking ahead when I'm coming down hills and stuff. So I'm trying to see what might be coming. I mean, I couldn't see those tractors because obviously uh, they got... Oh, shit, horse! Motherfucker! That sucks. Okay, well I won't be doing this road, will I? Stockley Pomeroy. Alright. Balls. God damn it! I didn't think they meant it was actually closed, but they did. So let's just go down here. Gotta find another route now. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Still. Found a nice heist. Can I get to Crediton this way? Probably not. Wow. Hopefully this isn't a dead end and I can just go Excuse me, can I get to Crediton this way? Showbrook, okay, brilliant, thank you. I bet it's quiet around here. And there's bugs everywhere. Bugs in my helmet. <sighs> nice. Nice. Right, back to Showbrook. Oh, hang on. Wait a minute. 
yeah, okay, I think I know where I'm going. Bamble, bamble. That's so fucking annoying. Oh, I wonder if I can go. You know what? Let's just have a bit of an explore. It's down this way. Might as well have a look whilst I'm down here. This is cool. Backyard adventure. Trying not to wreck. Hey. Gosh. Oh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is one of the roads I've... Ha! This is the road I've always wanted to come down. Brilliant. Ride the road in reverse, but not a lot. Those are horrible in the wet. Was that the other? No, yeah, 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 it's definitely the road I wanted to go. Yeah. Ah, funny. Happy accidents. Backyard adventures. Mm -hmm. Be careful for all the tractors. Yellow sign, which is probably going to say diverted traffic, maybe. Straighten out the line. No point going through uh, corners if you don't need to. It's not about riding quickly, it's about riding smoothly. Yeah, see, there was a diverted traffic sign. It's a castle that way, Capri. I say that every time I come past here, but. You never know who's seen my videos and who hasn't. Most of my viewers are in fact new to the channel. So hello! fresh shit on the road, I haven't noticed any, but I've got to be careful of that. Not only does it indicate if there's a horse, I don't want to be hitting shit. And there we go. Horse on the road. <laughs> Sign to show for it. I think it's bloody miles back.
gravel over there. And now I'm onto the dangerous part of the road again. Right then, there you go. That's why you need to do the mod one. And again, literally reading the road for potholes. And you probably can't do this whilst you're learning the mod one. It's all about thumb shifting. <laughs> See, I'm going to go with position two here because it's just such a shit road in position one and three. Look at it. It's an entire trough. Give the copper is a nod. going but oh you missed it bloody have <laughs> where the fuck is the sign to Showbrook Let's see if I can find a fucking sign to Showbrook, shall we? Where the fuck's Kurt Showbrook? So go back until you see the sign to Showbrook and just... I thought it was up this way. little road right now. now where the bloody hell is the sign of Showbrook? I'd have already been there, but hey, 
backyard adventure and another road I've not ridden. Looks like I've got a decent nice twisties. And look at that view. Of a bouncy jaunty road this is. Bit of off-roading. <laughs> oh, Christ. Off there, all the way. <laughs> Look at that view, that oh, a nice house. 20 is plenty. That was lazy, they used an apostrophe instead of just it is. It doesn't rhyme, 20 is plenty rhymes. 20 is plenty doesn't rhyme. It should be 20 is plenty. Gosh, this is posh, isn't it? Thursday now. Hopefully I'll find her. Jesus Christ, it's fucking hot. But, what a ride! <laughs> oh, Jesus. So you don't want to be hooning along these, these roads. Oh, bunnies! Don't come back out. Don't want to be hooning along these roads too fast to speed because you just don't. I don't know where I'm headed. down there, flipping heck. It's always nice to see when people have got mirrors up in their driveways because it gives you a hint that there's a driveway coming up if you can see the mirror across the other side of the road and that it's a blind driveway or a hidden driveway or concealed entrance Oosh. Clary said, thank you for a warm hand upon my entrance. Is it wet? Why is it wet? So what you don't want to be doing is a lot of front braking in the merger entrance around here. This is where it's a bloody dead end, isn't it? That typical. Oh, I think they were. No, no, I don't know. I think they were talking about going all the way back to Thorverton. Yeah, fucking typical. Yeah. All right. I think I might actually be on the Tet. No joke. The Tet comes around this area. All right. So I'm heading towards Thorverton. I 
to set the water credit from forward. Which is probably where the diversion was going to take me anyway. This bit of Thorfton before. No, oh, definitely not. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Ooh. Now I have absolutely no clue which way I'm going. Going right. Excuse me, Showbrook and Crediton's that way, is it? Yeah. Right, brilliant. There's some potholes up that way. Oh, there's potholes everywhere. It's great fun. Yeah, I've a new tyre last week. Oh, sugar, really? Yeah. So here we go. The old post office. Everywhere you start post office, isn't there? It's so important. Huh? Famous postmasters. Interesting. Showbrook. There we go. Yeah, this is the Tet, by the way. So I know I am actually on the Tet, or part of it. Interesting to see which way this takes me out. I've just got to keep pushing towards Showbrook and from Showbrook I can get to Crediton. So even with the sun in my eyes I'm able to get a good pace going. I'm not going to go for 60, which the limit is here, because that would just be suicidal. I'm looking right ahead, trying to see what's going to be coming around the corners, moving out slightly. And see, it looks like I can see through there, and there we go. Check my mirrors to make sure there's nothing behind me. Let's check over my shoulder. Here we go again. So now I'm looking at that building over there to see if I can see anything coming out. I saw a post where a guy said, oh, motorbikes don't use their front, can't use their front brakes in an emergency because if they do, they'll come flying off. And I was like, Fucking dumb do you have to be to believe that? I think it was an American bike rider. It's like, what do you think front brakes are for? Tell me you don't know how to ride a bike and how physics does it what don't work. Or how physics Wow <sighs> Meds, fuck you, Jesus Christ, that's blinding. Right. Oh isn't this lovely? I'm in a dingly dell, an ancient route. Riding straight into the sun all the time. I wish I might put a bloody peak on. Tractors, so there could be shit in the roads, literally. It's going to take it easy, uh, even though they're doing grain. By shit, I mean all this kind of crap. It's everywhere, look, see? Madden Court. The rich people moved out of the towns. <laughs> yeah, there's a 
a lot of rubbish on this road. Oh joy, look at that. Right, I'm going to take the middle route, I think. Now I'm wondering if that bloke lost a tyre in his car or on his bike. Different outcome. so much then. I wish I had a flip down visor. This helmet doesn't come with one. I couldn't go wide because she was there. So over those bumps it was. I find even this relaxing because it makes me switch off on everything else I'm thinking about. I'll just concentrate on the ride. <coughs> Whoa, shit me, look at that bottle. Oh, Christ, eh? it's lucky there was no traffic, isn't it? Otherwise, I'd have to go straight through that pothole. Oh, I love Holloways. I don't even look at my visor on. Can you imagine doing that up as a bunch of Airbnbs and stuff? Guarded tours. Nice highs. So I've been riding so long, <laughs> my GoPro practically ran out. I would have been, normally it takes me about, I don't know, half an hour, 40 minutes to get there. So I've been riding for an hour, still not really anywhere near Crediton, but hey I'm not in a rush just don't want the wife worrying that I'm not there yet so I'll drop her a text when I get there and just explain oh, too many bugs to keep the visor up big pot that's a bug This way. Sleep, drink, eat, shop. Huh. This is all part of the tet still. So beware. <laughs> Doing the tet. Potholes, pheasants, rabbits, lots of tractors, lots of gravel in the roads. <sighs> Subsidence. And depending on the time of the day, you'll be riding with the sun in your eyes. Jeans are penetrating. Well, don't ask what a penetrating. So anyway, I hope that if you are a beginner, that has given you an insight into the kind of stuff that you need to know for you know once you've passed because a lot of that stuff I was doing if you were to apply it in your UK license would probably get you to fail but from an advanced point of view as in you've passed now you need to learn how to ride hopefully that helped and no doubt there will be many 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 people who will be more than happy to tell all of us what I've done wrong because there will be bits there will be no rides a perfect ride so anyway enjoy oh and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and a subscribe bye
time left. Christ. Looks like she needs someone to actually bloody help her. Now look at this for a turnout. I'm just going to go here. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to go over there and then I can get a shot with my moto cover on. Annoyingly, I left my phone at home, so I've just had to borrow a phone to let the wife know I've taken over an hour to do a uh, half hour bike ride. But there are some classic bikes here at the Union Road. Motor Velo. Look at that Honda. It's lovely, isn't it? More bikes arriving by the second. Look at that Royal Enfield, isn't that lovely? The new 2350. One of my favourite Liam fields. So, plot twist, I only went and left my phone behind. So I didn't actually record that amazing route that I took on my Kalimoto, which is annoying because I'm kind of a bit anal about recording my Kalimoto, my rides on Kalimoto. Uh, but never mind. I've had a chat, I've had a quick sausage roll. I always have a sausage roll at Union Road. They're well worth it. And uh, I'm gonna head off, but look at this. Look at how many people we've got. It's just absolutely brilliant. Looking really, really good. So anyway, head off home now. Well, come here. I thought they'd been stopped for, spot, uh, for speeding. I reckon they must have been at Hanlon's and then uh, <laughs> come off in the god awful um, car park. That would be my assumption. There's no other reason otherwise.